It's the key idea of the, that I, I, I realize as I'm writing The Art of Computer Programming, the, the, the textbook, that the, the key to good exposition is to say everything twice or three times, where, where I say something informally and formally. I say, so, so the, then it, the reader gets to lodge it in his brain in two different ways and, the, and they reinforce each other. I'm giving a definition and immediately I apply the definition to a simple case uh, so, that, so that the person learns not only to, to do the input of the definition, I mean, the output, uh, what it means, but also to internalize uh, y using it once in their, in their head. And, and uh, uh, so f describing a computer program, uh, uh, it's natural then to say, to say the program twice, to say everything in the program twice, you, you, give the, you, you say it in, in, in English what, you, what the goals of this part of the program are, and in uh, and but then you say in, in your computer language and 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 you alternate between the informal and the formal uh, and and the litter pro programming uh, enforces this idea and uh, and it has it it it, it has a, a very interesting effects because uh, because uh, I find that for example uh, uh, writing a system program. Uh, uh, you, uh, I, 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 I did examples with literate programming where I took where I took device drivers that I that I received from from Sun Microsystem. They had device drivers for one of my printers, and I, I rewrote the device driver so that I could I, I could uh, 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 I could combine it my laser printer with a previewer that would that would get exactly the same raster image, um, and so uh, I, I I I took this industrial strength. Software and I, I read it as a little program, and I found out um, that the the, the uh, lit literate version was actually a lot better in several other ways that were completely unexpected to me because it was because it was more robust. When when you get to a sub when you're writing a subroutine in the normal way, um, a, a, a good system program subroutine is supposed to check that its parameters make sense or else it's going to uh, crash the machine. And so, uh, and then it tries. If they don't make sense, it tries to do a reasonable error recovery from from the from the bad uh, from the bad data. Um, but if you're writing the subroutine in the in the ordinary way, where it just starts the subroutine and then then all the code and then at the end, um, if you do a good uh, a really good job of this testing and error, error recovering, it turns out that your subroutine uh, ends up. Uh, you know, having uh, uh, 30 lines of code for error recovery and checking, and five lines of code for what the real purpose of subroutine is, it doesn't look right to you. You're looking at the subroutine, it looks like this is a, the purpose of the subroutine is to write certain error messages out or something like this. Um, uh, so, so uh, since it doesn't quite look right, uh, a, a programmer, as he's writing it, uh, is, sort, is, is, is subtly, uh, unconsciously, uh, encouraged to minimize the amount of error checking that, that that's going on, uh, and get get it done in, in some elegant fashion that doesn't really take much, take, so that you can see what the purpose, real purpose of the subroutine is, is, is these five lines. Okay, but now with literate programming, right? You start out, you write the subroutine, and you and you put a line in there, say, check for parameter for errors, and and then you do your five lines. The subroutine looks good. Now you turn the page. On the next page, it says check for errors. Now you're encouraged. As you're writing the next page, it looks looks really right to, to, to do a good checking for errors, and it, this kind of thing happened over and over again when I was looking at the industrial software. So, so this is part of what I what I meant by the the um, some of the effects of, of it. Um, but the but the, the main point of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, be, being able to combine the the informal and the formal uh, it, uh, it means that I can. Uh, the human being can understand the code uh, much better than just looking at at one or the other, or, or just looking at an ordinary program with with uh, sprinkled comments. Uh, uh, it, it, it's uh, uh, it, it's so much easier to maintain the program, uh, and and in the in the uh, comments you also explain what doesn't work. Uh, or any subtleties, or you can say, no, note the following, you know, the, here was the, the tricky part in line five, and it works because this. Uh, you can explain all, all of the things that a, a maintainer needs to know, and I'm the maintainer of uh, two, but, but, 
but after a year, I've forgotten totally what I th was thinking when I wrote the program. So all this goes in as part of the literate program, makes the, pro makes the program uh, easier to debug, easier to maintain, you know, and, and, and better in quality. It, it does better error messages and things like that at, uh, because of the other effects. That's why I'm so, so uh, convinced that li li literate programming is, uh, is, uh, is a great spin-off of the tech project.